Thank you for staying with us right here on Morning at NTV with me, Romeo Busiku and Mala. Now, given the Wednesday morning, it's common to have traffic gridlock right after the rain. Now, our traffic reporter Stephen Bede took it upon himself to visit the KCA Traffic Control Center to assess the traffic situation in Kampala and its environs. Good morning once again, Mr. Stephen Bede. What's the latest right there at the Traffic Control Center at City Hall? Good morning, brother. Yes, indeed, this is the City Hall uh, with me just here with the people who man this control center to let us know what exactly happens here or what happens on the road. We, many times we don't get to know that there's someone watching over there whatever we are doing, even though we know that the cameras are, sp are spread all over the city. And this is the traffic control center. These people are here always on a daily, on a, in the night, to know how the flow of business in the, in the city center is like. And here, they have different areas where the cameras are fixed within the city. They're able to know what happens there. And then I will be speaking to uh, these people, especially Mr. Tom Mayengo, who is the communications officer for the traffic control, KCSA traffic control center, who will be taking me through what exactly happens here, how, what they, how, they, how are they able to know that this place is having a lot of congestion, and now how do they control the traffic congestion? Because many people have on a daily complain about the traffic congestion and we thought that by the establishment of this place the tra traffic control center maybe it would have helped to ease the congestion but the question would be does the cost of establishing this center match the expected uh, purpose or does this serve really a purpose or is just an establishment that is not really helping much to do deal away with the too much congestion of course we know that according to the world bank report uh, that y Uganda alone loses almost 2.8 trillion shillings annually and this is a lot of money that maybe government or any other stakeholders will have used to do some other things uh, to, uh, to, if we don't have a lot of congestion within the city. Good morning Mr. Tom Mayungo. Good morning my brother. Okay first things first take, take us through what happens here and how are you able to know what's happening within the city center. Uh, this, control center, mm -hmm. this control center is just uh, a support to the field teams who help in guiding traffic. Mm -hmm. It is just the eye zone. You know, when you're above the, 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 the heights, you can see more than someone who is on the ground. So it's just a guidance to the people who are in the field on how to manage and how to guide traffic mm -hmm. so that we can, we can waste less time in traffic so that we can lessen the traffic congestion. Mm -hmm. But of course, uh, it's not 100% that the, the establishment of a control center will get us done with the traffic problem. No, it just helps us minimize the issues of traffic congestion. When we are here, we have the cameras and uh, we have the communication system. I don't know, my colleague has the radio call. We have usually the radio calls help us link directly to the guys in the field who when we see a challenge, we can guide them besides the traffic lights, we can guide them on how to manage. Sometimes you will find that the traffic lights are on, but still uh, there are people in white and the uh, traffic police are uh, overriding them. It's just because someone in this place has seen that the traffic lights are not giving the exact solution or the best solution at the moment and sometimes overriding them is the best option. Okay, uh, maybe uh, first, first take through, uh, show the people what exactly is happening in the city right now. For example, let me begin with this one, which is, I, I think is more congested for now compared to other areas I can see. Uh, this should be, uh, if I can guess why you say, okay. I uh, can see the flow of traffic coming from the direction of, uh, this should be uh, from the roundabout at the- uh, the other cars are coming from town. Mm -hmm. These ones are coming fr uh, uh, from Mambly, uh, approaching town. As you can see, uh, we have a number of challenges. Mm -hmm. uh, okay, at least we can see that uh, in this system, mm -hmm. we are able to... And that, well, now, which, what is this system you're talking about? This system uh, guides us. This is actually the control, the, the traffic controllers themselves. This is the system that manages the control center, the traffic controllers. And with this system, we are able to see the lights, the actual lights. When you see green, mm -hmm. we are able to see this is a junction. 
You can yeah, see the light. about YEC. Yes, this is mm -hmm. YEC. Mm -hmm. So you can see that right now we are having all red, mm -hmm. and you will see that even besides having all red, people are still violating the lights. Because there is no traffic officer. Yes, but uh, we, don't, we don't need a traffic officer to obey lights. It's supposed to be our own discipline to obey lights so that we can benefit from them. We can see people coming from... What uh, you're talking about, people disobeying uh, traffic regulations, I can see some coming from Naweru Road, yes. uh, try, especially the border border riders, uh, just crossing, even when uh, there are vehicles coming from the other side of Kalerwe, this is coming from uh, the other side of Kawempe. Naweru. Naweru. Yes. Uh, you can see, now guys coming from Mumble have green, mm -hmm. but they are entering a junction, where are people coming from now? Where you can we see this picture here. Yes. If you can see this picture here, where there is a, in this heart of the why you say vehicles coming from whichever direction, there is no obe obeying the, the traffic regulations there. Yeah. So in in such situations, we usually contact the guys on the road. Lucky enough, we have traffic officers. We have seen some of them moving around, and they are trying to help. They are trying to stop cars. Sometimes. Uh, cars enter the, 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 the junction and are not able to go out within their green time and in so doing they block other cars when they get their green so mm -hmm. the traffic officers sometimes with uh, our uh, our traffic wardens help us around mm -hmm. that and this is some of the reason mm -hmm. why we need this just having the traffic lights alone just having uh, the cameras is not enough we need this support we need to communicate to the ground Okay, I know this uh, center was established under the KDIP Kampala Institution and Infrastructure Development Project. Uh, what was the cost for establishing this center? Uh, this center, uh, maybe uh, if I would request to correct you slightly, mm -hmm. this center wasn't established entirely mm -hmm. by uh, the Kampala uh, District Infrastructure Development Project under, under World Bank. Mm -hmm. This center has evolved from very many projects. Mm -hmm. It has evolved from a number of components. You find that, yes, some of the cameras are coming from uh, the KDIP projects. We have, we have so far uh, had 12 KDIP junctions renovated and signalized mm -hmm. with communication to the control center. We have JICA. JICA, JICA has, has renovated four junctions, and these are different fundings. We've had... Uh, uh, We've had different components coming together to make it up. So when it comes to cost, it is very hard to, for someone to, 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 to actually uh, establish the actual cost of this because the control center as it stands does not necessarily have a cost. It is just an evolution of different projects. And this is the end point of the... When, when, when we renovate roads, when we renovate... Jun when, we, when we signalize the junction, we... we, we we put communication, we put CCTV, then at the end of it, we bring that, that communication to the control center. Okay. The only thing we can talk about are the screens and maybe the furniture and the computers, but the actual work is done at the road. Okay. The, actual, the actual cost comes from, actually it's a project funded at roads level. This is just the end mile of it. Okay, I remember on 29th April, around the Chira Road Police Station, uh, there was an accident that involved uh, pioneers, the bus, uh, taxis, and a long truck. Uh, so many people lost their lives and others were injured. I think, I don't know, did this, people are looking to establish where this, the, the problem come from. Was it the driver? Was it, what was the problem? But then, later on, we saw a video clip emerging up. Did it come from your center? Did, did it come from the police control center? Where did it emerge from? And then, uh, this was some of the. This was one of the uh, functions of uh, these street cameras that we see, the CCTV cameras. How has this helped you, maybe in uh, curbing other or arresting other road offenders, uh, traffic offenders on the road? Because I see many people crisscrossing through the uh, plantations or the through the green belts. So how have you been able to use these CCTV cameras? And for example, for you who is watching there, you can see that clip there on, on, your, t on your screen, uh, that accident that happened on the 29th of April. Uh, how, has this, how have these cameras helped you in other ways? Uh, maybe to, 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 to first put some facts correct. We don't know where the clip came from. Mm -hmm. We cannot, uh, we cannot uh, state where mm -hmm. it came from. Mm -hmm. Yes, it, it happened on the road. 
but we don't know where it came from. We saw it here. Yes, we have the camera. We have the cameras that can see that junction. We know it happened. We, we investigated the cause. But I think uh, the traffic police has a better report, and I think they gave that report. We are not mandated to, 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 to give such reports. That's the mandate of the Uganda police. Uh, these cameras are helping us. Uh, as for KCC and the control center, mm. we don't deal so much with crime and things like that. Mm. The smart city concept is, is, is such that our mandate is to, to look at the, the smart city, not the safe city. The safe city is more so of the police. So when it comes to law, crime, that's more of police. And for us, we are more of giving the service of managing traffic helping traffic around. So that's why you see in most junctions, you see a mm. KCC traffic warden okay. working close, mm. hand closely with Uganda police traffic officers. It's just because the traffic officers will be enforcing and for us will be guiding. Thank you so much, Tom Mayengo. Uh, you know you're the communications officer for this KCC Traffic Control Center. Uh, Stephen Mbide here, right at the city hall. Of course, uh, this is the control center. I've been speaking to this gentleman here, of course, taking us through how they are able to use their cameras that are pl planted all over the city to help them control traffic and other functions, as has already alluded to. Uh, we'll be handing over to let me hand you over to Romeo there in the studio to give you more on this morning at NTV. The conversation continues right here up to 9 a.m. I'll be speaking to you again from the streets of Kampala tomorrow. Have a good day. Thank you very much, Stephen Bide, for that wonderful traffic update. If you haven't left your house, now you know how best to navigate our rowdy streets or which route to avoid. Now, just in case your birthday falls on the 2nd of October, you have a chance right now. We are going to give you a shout out to all the people who were born on the 2nd of October. And of course, Mala is right there in Studio B, ready to give our people a big shout out. Mala, well, some people have been wishing NMG a birthday. It's not really our birthday. Is, is, isn't it until, uh, until December or something? <laughs> I think the only birds that are uh, wishing us a happy birthday because uh, we'll be making our birthday um, December. All yes. right. So we just have a few weeks shy. Um, if you'd like to look.